What's up guys and welcome back to Gabe Miller Music. Today I want to talk about how to make electronic music on the go without a laptop and also without an OP1 because that's kind of the typical device that people think of when they think of making electronic music on the go without a computer and as a lot of you have probably discovered when looking it up holy crap that thing is expensive and a lot of people consider it not worth it and also it's not necessarily the best for being a completely standalone device you usually bring its tracks into a DAW and mix them after the fact anyway. So these devices that I'm about to talk about are completely self-contained. You can make a complete track just using them and they're quite a bit less expensive than the OP-1. And I've arranged these in ascending levels of power. So the first one I talk about is gonna be the least powerful. The third one I talk about is gonna be, in my opinion, the most powerful, or at least the thing that I recommend the most. So to start things off, let's talk about the pocket operators, specifically the KO. This one, in my opinion, is the most powerful because rather than having a limited sample set or sound set that you can't change, this you can sample pretty much whatever you want. And so you're probably not going to be making full tracks on this. I've done it and I'll link that below, but it's a pain and what you can do with it's pretty limited. However, if you're wanting to dip your toes into the world of like physical music making devices that are extremely portable, this literally can fit in your pocket. This is a good place to start. And because you can sample anything either via the line in or the built in mic, you can sample uh, stuff in your environment or sample stuff from your favorite sample packs and start building stuff up and you have endless options for sound on this thing. My second recommendation utilizes something that you already own and then builds on it a little bit and that's using your phone. And specifically, I'm going to recommend an app called Caustic. The thing that's great about Caustic is that it's cross-platform, it works on iOS, it works on Android, and you can even run it on Mac and Windows. So you've got a lot of options for what you can run this on. It's pretty inexpensive, especially as far as DAWs go. And this thing is shockingly powerful. It's got a lot of built-in synthesizers and effects, so you've got a lot of sound design capabilities in there. Uh, it's MIDI editor is pretty good. Overall, the interface is pretty intuitive. I was able to learn it fairly quickly and immediately start making music, and it sounds great. You can really get some decent sounding stuff out of this thing just on your phone. To give you an idea of what Caustic is capable of, I'm going to play a quick snippet from a song that I made entirely in the app. The only thing I did outside of the app was a bit of mastering. Um, this is a synthwave track, and I think this turned out really good, especially for being made on my phone. So, here's that. <laughs> So as this example hopefully demonstrates, Caustic sounds really good. It gives you a whole lot of options and things you can do with it. And it's definitely what I would recommend if you want to start making music on the go, but don't necessarily want to buy uh, an external device. To put it this way, Caustic is definitely more powerful than this and also quite a bit cheaper. The advantage that this has is that it's a physical device. It's got that tactile nature to it. It's a very different way of thinking about making music and it's fun. It's definitely a cool kind of geeky way of making music, but Caustic is definitely going to be more powerful. And this brings us rather nicely to my third recommendation. And for those of you who have watched my channel for a while, you probably saw this coming a million miles away, but the Novation Circuit is my definitive recommendation for making music on the go and without a computer. So for those of you unfamiliar, this is in my mind, the OP1 killer. It's a completely all-in-one device. It's got two synth tracks with sidechain available for each and four drum tracks. And then you switch through patterns much like on an Ableton push or launch pad. You can load in custom sounds, both custom synth sounds and custom samples. And thanks to the new update, you can even record in stuff unquantized, which was a big thing that the OP-1 had over stuff like the circuit. Now you can do unquantized stuff, so wonkier beats, lo-fi, funk, that kind of stuff in the circuit. If you want to see my full review, I'll link that down below as well, and I'll put that in the end card at the end of this video. So yeah, the circuit has legitimately become my primary music making platform because it's, it's small, it easily fits in a backpack, 
it's battery powered. I can take this anywhere. It sounds great. It has some limitations that kind of force creativity in ways that kind of work with the way my brain works. It's intuitive, it's hands-on. And for people getting into it, it's relatively inexpensive, especially compared to a lot of the other groove boxes and dawless and portable solutions out there. At this point, I record the headphone out into my laptop. So if you wanted to go truly laptopless with this, you'd need some kind of handy recorder like a Zoom H1. And yeah, there's a very good reason that I continue to spam this on my channel. And it's not just because it gets me clicks and not just because Novation retweets it. It's because I legitimately love it. And I love the ability it gives me to make music wherever I want. I've made entire albums in coffee shops, on road trips, and in a bunch of other situations. You know, I take this with me in my backpack when I go to work, so I'll use it on lunch breaks, and I've also made music on caustic on lunch breaks as well. Making music on the go has unlocked a whole new kind of realm of creativity for me. Even to the point that songs that I've made like while on vacation and while in new places that I had never been before, I still have very positive associations of those songs with those places. I can kind of capture a vibe of wherever I happen to be at. And I think that's really cool. It's a really inspiring way to make music. And I highly recommend trying to get into at least a little bit of mobile production if that's something you're even remotely interested in. So yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see my review of the Novation Circuit, you can click or tap up over here. And if you would like to hear a track I made with Caustic, you can click or tap down over here. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I will be back with a new video next week. Peace.